It is here, near the visitor center, that the Freedom Trail actually begins. To get here, what you need to do is find the Park Street subway station within the Boston Common, near the intersection of Tremont and Park Street, and make your way north just from the Park Street Church. When you get to the visitor center, inside will be free maps available for your convenience. For the Freedom Trail website, it is estimated that some 500,000 maps are dispersed annually. It is here that you may also join a guided tour led by individuals dressed in 18th century attire. The guided tours usually last about an hour and a half, although if you really wish to spend any amount of time visiting the interior of any of these sites, then allow yourself a majority of the day. The Freedom Trail is marked by a brick paved or red painted path that extends approximately two and a half miles throughout the city and connects 17 historical sites related to the American Revolution. It was the product of a Boston columnist by the name of Bill Schofield who came up with the idea in March of 1951 in an article in the Evening Traveler. Before you embark on your walk, let us give you a rundown of the sites along the trail and what you can expect to see and learn about each. The sites include the likes of the Boston Common, the oldest park in the United States, the Massachusetts State House, the state capital of Massachusetts, and the spot from which all distances to Boston are measured. The Park Street Church, aka Brimstone Corner, known for its fiery speakers who used to preach here, and for the gunpowder housed here during the War of 1812. The Granary Burying Ground, a 1660 graveyard with an estimated 12,000 burials, including the likes of Paul Revere, John Hancock, Samuel Adams, victims of the Boston Massacre, and Mother Goose. King's Chapel, of which the current stone structure dates back to 1754, and includes the last bell ever cast by Paul Revere. King's Chapel Burying Ground, the oldest cemetery in Boston, dating back to 1630, Amongst the noted graves here you will find include a grave marker which was said to have inspired the novel The Scarlet Letter and the grave for the first governor of Massachusetts. Also along the Freedom Trail you will find the Benjamin Franklin statue and Old Latin School. Located here was the very first school attended by the likes of Ralph Waldo Emerson, John Hancock, Samuel Adams, and Benjamin Franklin was commemorated by the city's first portrait statue. The Old Corner Bookstore, best known as the former locale of Tickner and Fields who created modern publishing. The Old South Meeting House, the organizing spot for the Boston Tea Party. The Old State House, the oldest public building in Boston dating back to 1713. The site of the Boston Massacre, where on March 5th of 1770, British soldiers opened fire on two colonists, thereby providing an impetus to the Revolutionary War. Faneuil Hall, the first public meeting house in America. The Paul Revere House, the former home to Paul Revere, which he could not even return to for a full year after his famous midnight ride for fear of his life. The Old North Church, where the tale of one if by land, two if by sea originated. Copps Hill Burying Ground, the second oldest cemetery in Boston. The USS Constitution, the oldest commissioned naval vessel afloat. And lastly, the Bunker Hill Monument, a 221-foot obelisk to commemorate the infamous Battle of Bunker Hill, the first major conflict between colonists and the British.